I'm starting a new series where I find broken stuff and I try to fix them. The end goal really is to profit a little bit. I mean, I'm probably not gonna make a lot of money from this, but I am gonna learn basically handy skills, which I personally believe I lack. And I'll show you the profit process, I guess, how much money I make off of these things or how much little money I make off of these things. We'll learn together in terms of business as well as fixing things in general. So to start off with, I'm gonna start with this calculator. And this should be fairly easy to fix. I already know what's wrong with this calculator, but let me give you a little backstory behind this. So essentially it was last year, it was finals week or midterms week, whatever it was. And I needed a calculator for that midterm and you weren't able to use a graphing calculator that I have already. So I went out to go buy a new calculator that wasn't graphing. Technically, this calculator still wasn't allowed, but most people I saw used it anyway, so I thought this would be a good calculator to use because it looks like it has a lot of functionality in terms of engineering. So I got this calculator, I ended up dropping it, and then it stopped working. Being me, I didn't have the time to return it or try to even fix it, so I just got another one because I needed time to study and focus on my finals and midterms. So I believe the problem with this calculator is simply a connectivity issue. I mean, dropping it should cause something to dislodge, or maybe I've definitely blown something, some electrical component. If that's the case, then I probably won't be able to fix this. And I'm definitely not gonna profit off of this because I don't know how much I paid for this, but I'm guaranteed that the price that I'm probably gonna sell it, or maybe not even sell it, I'll just probably have a spare, is not going to be the same amount that I bought it for. So before I take it apart, I already know what's wrong with it, but I didn't show you guys what's wrong with it. Whenever I press the on button, it does not turn on the calculator. So there's a power issue, it may need a new battery, or there just might be some connectivity issue, which I think it is because I dropped it, meaning something got dislodged. So now I'm gonna remove the six different screws. So I took out the back cover and you can see the issue in plain sight. The issue is this. So this is the battery for the calculator and there is a red wire I believe connected to the battery or some sort of circuitry and then there's this black wire that is hanging freely so I believe this is the issue so the way to test if this is an issue I'm just gonna touch this hold this in place right here that is connected to the battery and try to power it on and if it powers on then this is the issue and it'll be a very simple fix and when I hold the wire together next to the battery, it turns on. So we're getting something, but it says memory cleared. Oh, there we go. And it looks like we have functionality. So it's just a continuity error for this device. So that's a very simple fix. I did buy a soldering iron for a fairly cheap price. I don't know how long it will last, but um, I'm going to try soldering for the first time. Okay, so that was kind of a pain, um, especially with only two hands when you have to hold the solder and the soldering iron and then hold the wire in place. Maybe there's some technique to have it so it's more easy, but it looks like it, the deed is done. Um, yeah, it looks like a botched job. It looks like the calculator will be working now. So this is a working calculator. Now the next step is just put it back together. And there we go. We have a functioning calculator now. So this should perform all the calculations necessary for engineering and other calculations necessary. So now I'm going to try to sell this calculator since I really don't need it. And I think by the end of the month or every so often, I'll update you guys on these repairs and fixes along with uh, how much money I've made off of them or how little money I've made off of them and see how this thing goes. I think this is fairly interesting. Uh, this concept or idea or video series has came to me by this YouTube channel called My Mate Vince. He's from the UK and he repairs things that he buys off of eBay and stuff like that. So I got inspired because I feel like he could do the same thing and I, for some strange reason, those videos are pretty, you know, boring, so to speak. But you know, I, I'm like, I find myself watching the video. I don't know, it's weird, but I don't know, I find it very interesting. So this is just one simple fix and many more in the future. If you want to buy this calculator, there'll probably be a link in the description as well. So looking around on eBay, it looks like people are selling this somewhere in between $15 to $25. And some people are selling it new for $20. So this is not new, unfortunately. Although I used it maybe two days out of the whole school year. 
so I believe I'll probably sell it for like $10 or so plus shipping and handling or I'll just make it free and then include the shipping and handling within the price also put it in a bid because I'll probably more than likely sell I don't know what this person is doing trying to sell it for $50 that is probably no way to go about this again if you feel like you need a new calculator and you want to buy this one I'll leave the link down below so I believe that's it for this video um, don't worry I believe there'll be more complicated troubleshooting issues with any kind of device that I find this happened to be the one I already own and I knew it was gonna be a very simple fix so this is just to get this series started in a right way I do plan on buying broken PS4 controllers since those seem pretty easy to fix and have very cheap parts as well, if necessary, to buy. Later in the future, I'll be working on new things. Please let me know down in the comments or just leave a like on this video if you enjoy this type of video. Uh, this is something new that I want to experiment with. Um, don't worry, there'll be other engineering videos that, I be ma that I've made previously um, that will still come out. It may be more comedic videos as I made the one previously. And don't forget about the analog computer that I'm still building. Um, I'll update you guys on the full schematic. I haven't been working on it recently because I've been a little busy, but I'll update you guys with the full schematic so you guys can build it on your own if you wish to. And now that I got a soldering iron, I could actually put the analog computer onto a printed circuit board. So that's another thing that I'll be working on in the future. Uh, with that being said, I'll see you next time.